Welcome back to Blockchain Pill, my name is Alex and today we'll see what's been going on in the ICP ecosystem the previous week. Last time when we filmed the episode, ICP was trading at around $12, now it's trading at close to $15. We had a great recovery in the ICP price, we're sitting pretty well and I think that we are on our way to test the highs at $20, $21. If we break that, as I mentioned previously, I think we are headed all the way up to $38. And I think that most people will start paying more and more attention the closer we get to $50, $100. Dominique Williams, the founder of the Definity Foundation, has released a second demo of an AI running inside a canister smart contract. Say hello to a massive acceleration of AI smart contracts on the Internet Computer Protocol blockchain. Dominic released this video where he compares the new updated AI with the old one. So if the speed of this AI can be improved in two weeks, or three weeks, think down the line what will be possible using ICP tech. And mind you, no other blockchain can host a phone photo on chain and ICP is running AIs directly in the canister smart contract. Definity tweeted that the future of runes on ICP looks bright with enhanced functionality and utility. And there is an article by Cointelegraph. The article talks about BRC20, which is a token standard on Bitcoin. The Internet Computer Protocol ICP is planning a runes integration that will enable ICP smart contracts to interact with runes and BRC20 tokens directly on Bitcoin's base layer, unlocking more possibilities for holders. ICP's efforts are part of a new paradigm dubbed Bitcoin DeFi or BTC Fi, aiming to create more utility around BTC and Bitcoin native assets. So already we're seeing ICP solidifying itself as the leader when it comes to Bitcoin layer twos. And once again, more and more people will start finding out about it. More and more people are gonna grow tired of paying $50 or $100 for Bitcoin transactions when you can do all the same transactions on ICP for a fraction of the price because we have the technology to be able to scale not only Bitcoin but Ethereum as well. It's just a matter of time until people are going to find out about this. ICP is the best kept secret in the crypto space, but a lot of people will be cut offside, which, you know, is cool. Definity tweeted that you are cordially invited to join the Definity Foundation at Zurich headquarters to celebrate ICP's third anniversary. Expect a full day of keynotes and demos focusing on cryptography, chain fusion, decentralized AI, DAOs, and more. The link to get your ticket is going to be in the description below to make it easier for you to register. I want to remind you that the biggest event in the crypto world has also happened last week. And of course, I'm talking about the Bitcoin halving. Last week on the 20th of April, the Bitcoin mining rewards were cut in half. Every four years on a halving day, the amount of new Bitcoins created gets cut in half. The reward given to the contributors securing the network is reduced by 50%. In the history of Bitcoin, this is like the fourth halving. And historically, after this event happened, the Bitcoin price went crazy. The first one happened in 2012 when nobody was paying attention to Bitcoin and it took Bitcoin about one year to go 100x since the day of the halving. The second one happened on July 9th, 2016. Most of the crypto OGs joined crypto before the 2017 halving. So the price went 30x from the halving. The next halving happened in May, 2020. And after the halving, the Bitcoin price went 600% up. And here is the latest Bitcoin halving on April 20th, which is just a couple of days ago. If we wanna add the halving event together with the Bitcoin spot ETFs, which basically bring hundreds of millions of dollars of buying pressure every single day, I think we are at the beginning of one of the biggest bull runs that we have ever seen. People cannot even comprehend how big and wild this bull run is going to be. If I was to guess, I think we will see at least a $150,000 Bitcoin, maybe even cross $200,000. People will sell too early and people will be left sidelined. We have a cool tweet from Michael Saylor here, who's one of the biggest Bitcoin investors, and he puts the halving into perspective to make it easier for people to kind of understand the significance of the halving. And he goes like this. What if an investor with unlimited capital announced a program to acquire 450 Bitcoin daily at the market price for the next four years and hold the asset forever? If Apple announced that they are going to market by every single day 450 Bitcoin, this would be incredibly bullish for the Bitcoin price. There are 450 less Bitcoin into the market because of the halving. The ICP community conference team is thrilled to announce the launch of the ICPCC DAO and their native token 
called Conf. They did their Definity Forum post diving deeper into what's going on. So here's the summary. ICPCC DAO LLC is a community owned and fully self-sustaining decentralized conference event series devoted to highlighting the ICP's technology and ecosystem. The DAO will control 100% of the ICP raised during its SNS swap sale, use the treasury to hire vendors to organize its events, and then receive the income from event ticket sales and sponsorships back into its treasury. The ICPCC DAO will be fully independent Marshall Island non-profit DAO LLC able to sign legal agreements and manage intellectual property via on-chain SNS proposals. The DAO will elect an ICPCC council of three to five notable ICP ecosystem leaders to shape critical proposals for the DAO to vote on. The SNS launch is going to happen during ICPCC 2024 on May 10th. If you haven't booked a ticket already, make sure you do so. The link is going to be in the description below and make sure you follow the ICPCC 2024 because there will be huge giveaways happening during this conference. Motoko Sentinels also launched last week. The collection launched on the Bionic Marketplace. Bionic is an ordinal marketplace that is leveraging the CK BTC technology built on the internet computer protocol to reduce the fees and to increase the transaction speeds of trading ordinals and Bitcoin itself. I think they sold out in like 24 hours or 36 hours and the NFTs I think sold for about $30 a piece and now the floor price is sitting at $174 and there is a lot of whales in the ICP space who grabbed tens of Motoko Sentinels, some of them even hundreds of them. So congratulations to everybody involved and congratulations to everybody who managed to secure at least one of them. This is going to be a piece of history sitting on the Bitcoin network. Let's have a look at what the SNS projects have been up to. OpenChat made a big partnership with IC Footprint. OpenChat is the first DAO to integrate IC Footprint 2.0. This means that every bit of OpenChat's energy use and carbon emissions is tracked in real time on the blockchain. OpenChat commits to actively decarbonizing and achieving carbon neutrality. Setting new standards for responsibility in tech as the world focuses on greener living, OpenChat is at the forefront. Contribute to and benefit from OpenChat as we actively reduce our environmental impact while providing everybody secure, free to use and decentralized communication. Boomda also made an announcement. The Boom Gaming Guild has crossed 5,000 quests completed and over 1,000 of those 5,000 quests were completed in Pause Arena, which is a fully on-chain game built on ICP. And it is the first game to be integrated with the BoomDAO infrastructure and taken fully on chain using their tech. So this is super nice to see from BoomDAO, especially after the little FUD that the project has seen. It's really nice to see their tech being put to use and the team making progress. So great job there. If you haven't already completed a quest, go to the Boom Gaming Guilds and play Pause Arena to complete the quest and to receive some BoomDAO tokens. We have a big update from Sonic one of the first decentralized DEXs on the Internet Computer Protocol. And they say that starting April 25th, Sonic LBP will no longer be part of the Sonic platform. However, we're currently working on making LBP permissionless and expect this to be completed by June 2024. New LBPs will no longer require SNS proposal or any other existing formality to launch. What do you think? Should the DAO decide what projects get launched via the LBP or do you think this is a welcome change? Let me know your answer in the comment section below. And the last project that I have an update on is Estate DAO, which has successfully completed its SNS launch. It raised over 135,000 ICP from the round and this is their Twitter page. So congratulations to the Estate DAO team and to all the estate DAO token holders. I'm looking forward to see what you guys have in store for us. And that's pretty much it. It's been an exciting week for the Internet Computer Protocol and for the entire crypto space in general with the Bitcoin having and with so many things happening. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.